everybody so we're going to be talking about the open dot we're going to construct this exactly the same like we did with the closed dot where we went to the iron we pressed it in the middle there because we have that middle line to guide us we iron them flat so that we can have the middle point highlighted and of course so that we can sew on the edge line over here yeah so we're going to prepare it exactly the same and then I'll show you guys afterwards how we're going to cut it open, like I mentioned in the previous video. Cool. So let's jump into it right now. Raise up your foot on your lever here at the back. And then you want to lower your needle right on the edge of the fabric. Once your needle is in the fabric, now we're going to continue to stitch. We're going to do a back tack stitch again there. So press your back tack lever after you've done the three to the front. So one, two, three. Press your back tack lever. One, two, three to the back. And then release your lever and then we continue the stitch. Yeah? Again, once we get to the edge of, the, of that uh, line, we will go two lines two stitches um, off the edge of the fabric and then we're going to reverse stitch again so one two we, my needle is off the fabric now I'm pressing the reverse lever I'm going to go three to the back one two three release the lever one two three and then of course I raise my needle to the highest point for those that has a domestic machine and then I lift my foot and then I move the fabric out there we go that's the first step that we did exactly the same like the closed dot earlier so now that we've done that the next step is actually now for us to cut this dot open like I mentioned so you want to grab your scissor you want to push it in here and then we're just going to cut this open Check if we are recording still for this part. Yeah, we are. There we go. We're almost done. I'm gonna cut as far as you can go. So now once we've done the cutting, now we're gonna have to jump over to the iron and then just press open this dot to make it to be an open dot. So we just have to press it open with the iron. We're gonna jump onto the iron real quick and we're just gonna steam that down real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're back on the iron guys. We're gonna iron this dot open. I just want to show you guys how we're going to go about it. So, as you can see, we're not using the tailor's ham just yet. We just want to lightly press open the dot so that it allows us to actually start using the tailor's ham. So we're going to steam them down a little bit like that. Not too hard. Otherwise, you're going to create a, a crease on the other side. So just steam them a little bit. After we're done with that, now we're going to grab our tailor's ham because like we said in the let's check if we're recording yeah like we said in the previous video because we are ironing a shaped garment or shaped piece of fabric we want to make use of these tailor's hams if you don't have a tailor's ham of course you can also use some a pillow or a cushion or something that's round put a piece of fabric over it and then you can also use the shape to iron i didn't mention that in the previous video but you can also make your own tailor's ham at home. So now that we have cre or iron the open dot open, now we want to use the tailor's ham. And as you can see, I'm using the edge of the ham here so that it's easy for me to sort of steam according to the shape. There we go. So I'm placing the dot, making sure that it's still open. The dot is open. And now I'm, I'm ironing. I'm ironing to one side of the fabric while I'm steaming and pressing harder down here. Yeah? 
and those problematic areas like I said if that was a bus point we want to make sure that it doesn't crease so we actually want to pull it a little bit now so that we can apply some pressure on that area while we are steaming down there we go a little bit more so I'm using my finger as well I'm just pressing it at the bottom there there we go pushing the tailor's ham aside and there we go and that is our open dot of course you will have some areas that's curling up which is cool and there we go guys there's a shape that we want like that and that is what it is to make a open dot